Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. As you can see, eh, not too bad. It just stopped raining just a little while ago, so we're all good now. This is the second video in a series about movement. So this one we're going to be practicing side movement. There are two different techniques that I want to go over, so let's get started. First one is the old school technique, which is you are sidestepping, sidestepping. And there are pros and cons to doing uh, this technique. For one, if you're wearing some kind of armor, <clears throat> you stay pretty much squared up to your target. Also, if you're moving in a dark area and you bump into something, you will have uh, less likely of falling over. And also, you're not crossing your legs. So you have a less tendency to trip with that as well. The downside is you're moving pretty slowly. So if you're sidestepping, you're moving kind of slow. If you decide to pick up the pace, it's a lot more bouncier. So that is the pros and cons of that movement. So we're going to go hot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to show you the both techniques. So if you're moving to the right, side step. All right, moving to the left. All right. Good accuracy, but a little bit slow movement. So let's try moving up. All right, as you can see, accuracy dropped a little bit. Dropped a lot, and that's due to the fact of the lot more bouncing that occurs when you do the side to side step technique. Now, there is another technique I want to show you. It's a little bit more complicated, but there are once again more pros and cons to both. Get loaded up here for just a second. And that is if you want to move right, your right foot points to where you want to move and your left, point, uh, your left foot points to your target. So you're essentially doing like kind of like a groucho walk. So if you want to move left, left, point, uh, left points to where you want to move, right foot points to the target. All right. This allows, uh, the pros are this allows for faster movement, less bouncing. Cons are you got to learn something new. All right. The other con is if you are a right-handed shooter and you got a target out to the right, it's a little bit more difficult to engage. You got to engage a target sooner. All right. So in order to engage, you just bend your knee more and that'll allow for a little bit more flexibility. So if you're right-handed shooting, you're moving left. You just got to bend your knee just a little bit more and allow for a little bit more flexibility. Same thing if you are a left-handed shooter moving right, you got to bend that knee a little bit in order to engage a target off to your uh, gun side. So let's try it out. First, let's go slow. So we're moving right. Right foot points to where you want to move. Left foot points to the target. All right, slow. All right. Let's move left slow. All right. Let's move a little bit faster. All right. Noticing there's a lot less bouncing. My group was a lot tighter. All right, folks. Thank you very much for joining me today. Remember to practice this. You don't have to fire your weapon in order to practice these movement drills. 